Okay, she's not home. We know it's a sheep because she has frogs on the door. And women's shoes. And women's shoes. Is the sidewalk? The sidewalk is considered legal. Is it? Yes. All right. Wait, are you sure that was on the sidewalk? Okay, here. Anything? Okay, right here. I'll be the barrier. Six right here. <laughs> I'm the line. Anything on this side of me? It's cool. Oh, wait, I think you pulled that in. Oh, let's do it. They are pretty. You want to? You want to hop and get those? Yeah, that's cool. That's one hard orange. Pull off the. That's what she button. said. <laughs> And that was a definitely an Oompa Loompa that she was talking to. <laughs> she loves the Oompa. All the you girls know, orange, love the Oompa, orange, man. orange. Girls love the Oompa. We got all of those up there. Ready? Okay, let's do it. Let's give you It pays to have two people doing the foraging. Oh yeah. Especially when we're talking trees. I never trees. go foraging without my oompa. <laughs> Everybody needs their own oompa. I think we're good after this couple of, whoa, that's like a whole branch there. <laughs> whoa. See, the whoa. thing is, a lot of the times, whoa. is if people do not, you ready to go down? I'm ready. You ready? Woo. People don't pick this stuff, it drops to the ground and rots. So, you know, we're actually kind of doing nature a favor here, right? Yeah, yeah and our bellies. <laughs> All right, let's go find some more trees. Yeah. All right, well, you've done this before. You should toss it over there. There's not really a way, any way to knock. Let's see the doors open. Nice. Well, does the doorbell work? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, shit. I love dogs. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Love dogs. Gotta love them. Close my door. Hey. The fuck do I want? Oh, my God. Huh? We're right. Sorry. We're, we actually uh, were told by your wife that we can collect the lemons, we can get the lemons out of your backyard that we could see when we were driving by. Hey, okay? Britt! What is it, honey? You said you think you can go pick some fruit in my yard? Yeah, honey. Oh, thank you. All right. Boy. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, we gotta get through there. I know. We gotta get through there. We got so good. <laughs> We gotta go into the backyard to pick the fruit. Pick the lemon. Oh, yeah, come on in. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Oh, it's a... That was, yeah, man. Awesome. That was a, such a so trip. many lemons. That guy was yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. Trip. That guy was a total trip. What the heck? You, you can't that guy was bullshit. Did I tell you I have 15 lemons a piece? No, you didn't say anything about 15 lemons. It's a bag full. Dude, you never said anything about bullshit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, they hired me today. I, I thought we were just gonna go shoot some picking stuff and then all of a sudden we're knocking on people's houses, a half naked black guy. Thought I was gonna get killed, almost got hit by a car. See, this is where they fucked up. I told them it was cool. Gonna pick some fruit. I told them 15 pieces of, 15 pieces a piece. No, I told them 15 pieces. Period. Not a piece. Fifteen pieces of pe period. I ain't got a bag for them. I had a trick for them niggas. I don't fuck around with stuff like that. I'm a grown ass man. What killed me is how he got an Oompa Loompa who's like six foot six. I ain't gonna lie, both of them niggas can run though. I remember the day when I was in Compton. <laughs> Ran with a, with a whole gang of niggas, man. All raw foods, man. Food channels. Eating that good nigga food, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but now, about to finish this grapefruit. Chop for my wife, I got to do this grapefruit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so peace out. Yeah, well, you know, Ronk is awesome. First raw foodist Oompa he's ever found, right? And, you know, obviously I'm a lot taller because I eat raw food, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it come in handy when we're going to forage in the trees, you know, because I can get the, 
get them up on my shoulders and, and pick and everything. But then today, I mean, today was crazy. I mean, whoa, that guy was off his chain. I mean, he was crazy. And we went running and he threw stuff at us and like, wow, that was, that was the most craziest foraging experience I've ever had. I mean, there was that time two years ago when that guy chased us in his car, but you know, never on foot, you know, naked and like, all of his, you know, raw food hanging out there, you know what I mean? So anyway, it's a crazy day, crazy day. But you know, it'll go down in history as like one of the number one foraging experiences ever. So hey, you know, all in day's work of a new book. Oh yeah, so gosh, our foraging experience today was insane. Like usually it's really easy, you just go up to the house, you knock on the door, and they just like allow you to go get some fruit. You know, if, they do, if they're not there and if it's like actually on the public side of the fence, I still end up, you know, picking some, which is what, you know, which is what I like to do. I like to do, you know, it just depends on the situation and what fruit trees they are. But today, man, the guy was just, whew. First of all, his wife said that we could come and pick fruit. So we didn't even expect him to even be there. And then he never said anything about the amount that we could pick. So I mean, usually I like to fill up a bag, you know, when there's a, a bunch of lemons or oranges on a tree and there's obviously not being picked. I mean, you know, come on. So I mean, fuck, man. The way he came after us, oh my God, it was insane. I'm just, we're just all lucky that we didn't get like jumped on and like laid on, you know, and, like flattened by the motherfucker. Whew. But it was a fun, good adventure, good times. <laughs> That's how we roll here in Willy Ronkale. <laughs>